This video is going to be about how I make my outworlds. Here is a small colony of Mimesia nigriceps. They are also known as black-headed bull ants, and it's just the queen and her worker. They are by far the most aggressive ants I have. I start with any clear plastic container, and I drill a hole into the top and one for the tube port. I personally use a Dremel, but you could use a hot knife and melt your way through. I use foam flock to make this mossy effect on my wood. You can get this at a hobby store or make it yourself using a sponge and a grater. I also like to make sure that everything is sterilized and not toxic for the ants. What you don't want is mold growing in the outworld because this is where your ants will take their food from. Flock is great because it looks really natural and doesn't dry out like real moss. This sand is from my local pet store, it's typically used for reptilians. I arrange the wood pieces to make sure there's room for feeding. It makes it easier to clean the outworld. Here I connected the ants to the outworld and applied olive oil to create a barrier for the ants. This also prevents feral ants from getting inside, which can kill your colony. I give my ants sugar with a bottle cap with honey in it. Many ant species will bury the honey in the wild anyways. It's currently winter here in Australia and she hasn't laid any eggs since this worker. Hopefully this outworld gives her some encouragement. Potentially I might also try and do an interspecies brood boost with her using my Pyroformis colony. Thanks for watching, I'll keep you updated. Cheers.